Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of profits. Today, joined by Hitlank, the general of Giza. Yes, and we got some more slice, slice, courtesy of my man Joe, aka Jaws Arcade. Joe once again hooked us up with some IPAs. Uh, I was talking to him about getting some more slice because I really wanted to try Kind Buds because he loved Kind Buds. And then he ended up sending me a case of 12, uh, 12 IPAs. <laughs> With a, like some slice, some North Park, and I think it's like six or seven cans of Fightins, which is one of the most hyped IPA breweries in the state right now, uh, in the states. So, man, Joe, thanks so much. Thanks for sharing the love. Amazing. I'm really looking forward to this, especially because most of the slice stuff is West Coast IPA, and I missed like so far. I really enjoyed their hazies as well, but what I really love from Slice has been their West Coast IPAs. Yeah, it's uh, been it's been a long time. I mean, yeah, it's really I mean, gone out of uh, like. Style yeah, I mean, they still are around on the West Coast. Yeah. But in Europe, you know, a lot of, it's at least in Denmark, not a lot of Danish breweries do them. There's no. a few that started to pick up on the trend and do them, but most of them are not new school like this. They're a bit more old school, where you have like pine and resin and earthy yeah. nose and all that with yeah. like a lot of old school hops. I like that as well, but new school West Coast with fruity hops, but a snappy bitterness and dryness and... And, and like just a like crisp mouthfeel is so yeah. nice. Like a good mix between the, the styles, basically. I mean, pretty much. Yeah, and like yeah. when it's done West Coast, it's of course yeah. like West Coast is more fruity. But mm. when like monkish type New England IPAs, it's like, of course it's a hazy IPA, but it's just leaning towards the West Coast. So it's just like almost like you influence a bit from both worlds because I think a lot of these, you know, a lot of newer school West Coast IPAs, they have huge dry hop editions, and some of them are double, triple dry hop. Well, that was a thing before the whole hazy IPA thing as well, but. You know, you can learn from doing both styles. But we're checking out a can today of the Slice Blinding Sunlight. Oh, yeah. A 100% Rewaka hopped West Coast IPA on 7%. This was canned on the 22nd of April. So that's like a, about five weeks ago when we're drinking this. Nice. A little, a little more than five weeks. So still really fresh. I can smell it from here. I'm super stoked on this. So thanks a ton, Joe. Let's dive in. This is such a pretty beer. I mean, it's crystal clear <laughs> and it looks like bright, bright yellow. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay. I mean, it's, it's as yellow as the I mean, as the can almost. Yeah. I mean, this is such a beautiful beer, and what I love about it, like, it's actually gotten the time to get clear. Yeah. Like it's been yeah. cold crash for long enough. Because yeah. a lot of, especially newer Danish examples, they've been a bit hazy. They haven't been like this. Okay. I can accept a bit of chill haze, but. Like when they look like this, I, that's what this I want in West Coast IPA. I mean, this is cold as well. Yeah, it's not ice cold. No, it's not ice cold. It's just I, perfect. Yeah. yeah, I literally got the package today, <laughs> so we're just going on. But yeah, I love the white head as well. Yeah, it just looks great. I it's mean, probably like a simple pale ale malt grist yeah. with a little bit of dextrin malt of sorts or something like that. But yeah, let's yeah. check out the aroma on this one. Oh, it smells really nice. Wow. Really, it's like. Mm. It's kind of like you mixed West Coast and New School as we talked yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, is, yeah, yeah. We read a bit I mean, up on the yeah, hop yeah, before this. Yes, yeah, I can definitely see like the, the, the citrusy and the, the passion fruit thing. Yeah, um, and grapefruit. But I'm also yeah, getting like a yeah. lemon and lime vibe. Yeah, 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 exactly. So Ruwaka is from New Zealand. It's a derivative hop of Saas. And I guess there's a bit of a spicy vibe as Saas is known for, yeah. but it's much more tropical than Saas. Yeah. Yeah. And fruity. Like I'm getting passion fruit as well yeah. and pineapple. Yeah. Like it smells really good. A little overripe pineapple kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. But still some some dankiness as well. Yeah, it's yeah. a little bit dank. It's not like one of those in your face dank IPAs, no. but it's no. definitely got some dankiness. It smells really nice. It, it smells, smells like really a nice. crusher. I'm really looking forward to how this is gonna taste. Yeah, let's yeah. try it. Cheers. Yeah. Thanks, Joe. Mmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I want to smash this <laughs> right now. Wow. It's really hop aromatic, like mm. or hop flavorsome, like yeah. really fruity. Mm. Like a lot of, uh, yeah, you know, you do school West Coast IPAs and then like all the bitterness comes in the aftertaste. They're like they're nice bitterness. I'd pick this, this is probably around 50 IBUs or something because it's not like crazy bitter, oh. but it's a substantial bitterness. I think this is my mm. 2021 favorite IPA. <laughs> To be honest, you just wait. Yeah, I know you have got more stuff. Like we're well. yeah. we're checking out yeah. kind buds yeah. too today. Yeah. yeah, but I mean this but is 
This is really good. Really, really nice. It's really pithy and grapefruity on the, yeah. on the aftertaste here. Like, loads of grapefruit, pith, and cess, like, classic mm. West Coast. But then up front, it's loads of brightness for me. Yeah. Like, that passion fruit and pineapple really stands out. Yeah. Yeah. There's re a really good mix here of the, of the two styles. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. I can see how, how, I mean, the difference between the old school and the new school. It's different than it there. This is much more, I mean, this is almost chuggable. It is chuggable. Yeah. It's much more uh, drinkable than yeah. the New England IPA. Yeah. Uh, just because it's so crisp. Yeah. And I and like it's clean. I like the dryness of it as yeah. well. I That's mean, one of the things, like dryness yeah. and bitterness is something I missed in IPAs. And like, yeah. it can be done in New England IPAs if you mm. just don't overdo it. Yeah. Um, yeah. The big, again, there's like huge, singy, like bright characters up front. And then like, there's a little bit of dankness. I think there's more dankness yeah. in the flavor than on the aroma. There is, there is definitely, yeah. And then just like this right. soft, like or soft, like this passion fruity, mm. Yeah. Pineapple y, again, lemon limey vibe too, yeah. and then a bit of like a sauce spice. But the sauce spice, I think, is more in the aftertaste of the grapefruit. Mm, yeah. it, it's, it isn't really crazy piney per se. No. As some of the classic like yeah. Americans. But I love how they're playing around with New World hops and West Coast IPA. Not a lot of people do that. No. I mean, yeah, I'm a fan of Slice, but you know, I love their West Coast IPAs the most just because they're nailing West Coast at the moment in mm. a cool new school way. But yeah, this is really good. Um, it's really nice. I think, how, how, how much did we give the Mosaic one? We had one with Mosaic that was like really good. Uh, what was it called? Oh, I forget the name. It's like had a like a hoppy skull thing, yeah. like money on the label and whatnot. It was really, really good. Mm. Uh, I think I like that a little bit more because when we had that, that was, it, that was just a little bit more singy mm. with the like, the Mosaic character, what was the name? I'll just find out. I think, cause I think I gave that like a 95 ish yeah. and I think I like that a little bit more. I really like oh, the mouthfeel of this as well. Yeah. Because it's 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 light, but it's also a little thick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is, I mean, so yeah. But again, it's brewed to seven percent, and you yeah, can exactly. add something like dextrin mm. malt, like a Cara Claire or whatever, yeah. and that will help with mouthfeel because it has like maltodextrin, which mm. is unfermentable, uh, and not give yeah. the same kind of pronounced sweetness. But let's just see here because I've reviewed a lot of slice now. It doesn't get too <laughs> many views because people don't really know about it. But I think it's been powerful herbs. That was crazy powerful good. herbs. Uh, but still, the hippie cabbage was definitely my favorite. How much you gave that? Uh, I think I gave it around 94 maybe, or 95. 94. 94. Yeah. And I vaccinated, I remember being a little bit disappointed. I think then maybe I'll tie to this, because at that, like around yeah. the 94. Like, for me to go completely world class, it should just be a little bit more intense on hop character and hop flavor, even though it's fairly popping and everything. It just, I could use a bit more intensity. Mm. Like, uh, but that, like, if this was like a year-round IPA, I'd be drinking this all the time. Like, uh, you know, <laughs> local, and 94 is great, you know. It's, yeah, it's a really yeah, good West Coast yeah. IPA, but I think it's just below world class. Okay. Just below, just like powerful herbs. But again, I think I might have liked it more, but yeah, I'm still, I feel like 93 is too low for this because it's really good. Yeah. I'm going to go with 95 just because I can. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I like it. You decide, man. Yeah. It's up to you. Ooh, a little bit peachy. Too. Yeah, but yeah, I understand why, especially mm. if you've missed the style. I missed the style very much. I mean, I haven't had a lot this year of West Coast IPA, so it's it's a nice change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean and it's going down like as Simon says on Real Craft. Yeah, it's going down like milk. I mean, I've almost <laughs> drunk the entire thing in this review, and we've been going for about nine minutes, ten minutes. Mm. Yeah, it's just a really refreshing and bright West yeah. Coast IPA. Yeah, it is. No problem finishing a can of this on your own because it's no way near palate fatiguing or anything. It's no. just a joy to drink. So yeah, yeah. Slice knows or West Coast IPAs. I'm really stoked. I'm trying. Kind buds, man. I'm really <laughs> excited about that beer. We're gonna have it soon. So if you guys had a chance to check out Slice Blinding Sunlight, and it is definitely a bright West Coast IPA. It is, yeah. Let us know we thought of it. It's really, really good stuff. Thanks a ton to the beer, Joe. Really yeah. awesome try. We're gonna crack on with some more right now yeah. <laughs> and uh, have some great IPAs. So thanks a ton, man. If you guys don't know Joe, check out his channel. Link for it is down below. As always, remember to comment, subscribe. Check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And ring the bell for future notifications about videos. And we're gonna say cheers. Cheers. And see you guys in the beer review. Oops. <laughs> <laughs>